Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Today, Lana's here. There's no stopping you in there, Mr. Wright. No, there's not. Huh? What do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh, I haven't figured shit out. Lana! You're the one who knows everything! Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I'm trying to earn a paycheck. You're still paying me, right? I... I don't recall ever asking for his protection. No. Oh. Someone hired me. No, seriously. Like... Yes, you did. You did hire me. You gave me the slip. How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? No. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything, pal. Oh, uh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Bye, Gumshoe. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Oh, you got a lot of nerve, pal. Make a detective run all around while on... Run all around? While on duty? What? Making a detective run all around while on duty. Yeah. You mean doing your job? And on top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. What funerals have you gone to? Sorry, Detective. Oh, you better be, pal. Hey! 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 I didn't see you there, Chief Prosecutor Sky! That's okay, so have you brought what I asked? Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Okay, Gumshoe's having a fit, apparently. Uh, you mean this, pal? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. Wow! We'll just chalk identity theft onto your other charges. My name? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring me the SL9 incident files? I'll need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 incident? But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. That's a lot of stuff. I, don't I only have like 30 minutes? I can't believe you! The Chief Prosecutor were the witness on that case! This guy was a witness? Files for the Joe Dark killings all two years ago. <laughs> Take it from me, pal! You don't want anything to do with that serial murders! Yeah? Oh, what? Now that I've brought you stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Uh, Emma, but why? Why is your name here? Oh. What, my name's in there? I don't know, unless... No, it couldn't be. Lana! This SL9 incident, is that... When you, when you guys hire a defense attorney, you should probably, like, let him know... what he's in for. That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it, knew it as... the Joe Dark killings. The... the Joe Dark? No, no, Lana, what am I missing? That's over with! No! Uh, Emma, wait! No, don't go! You're such a big hell! Uh, you know, I just remember, I gotta go somewhere! Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here! Yeah, okay. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Damon Gaunt, uh, Miles Edgeworth, not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't just be a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Because you are a protagonist. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. I gotta read all this! I better take a good look at this file. To be continued. Well, I guess I could have ended here last episode, but <laughs> where's the fun in that? Uh, I mean, sure. There you go. February 24th. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Ms. Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call my next the call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the trial. Or day of the crime. This alcoholic cowboy. Witness, please state your name and occupation. 
me, partner? Wow, he's a ventriloquist, too. Oh, I just a man, same as you, wandering trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know, you're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling winds calling it out. Jake! The idiot! To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Howling wind? I never heard Edgeworth described that way before. Oh, I get it. You lost me for a second, but I got it! Let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime, the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner? What do you mean? A desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Uh, maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony on the day of the crime. In plain old English. Please hold them in contempt. Day of the crime. My job was the keeper where I on the bone orchardry. Or orchard. Orchard? Orchid. Orchid? Orchid. Yes? I thought it said orchestra for a second, but I don't think it did. We'll get back to that, apparently. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. AKA, I'm bad at my job. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyways. If I remember right, I was a, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man. Uh, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. Um, well, I get your fingerprints, so no you weren't. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Contempt? Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes, well, about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence locker. Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickey are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses, now don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Feel free to hound him. Oh, I will. I'm gonna press the living bejesus out of him! I should have read that! I uh, well, how exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. The room's so still. Even time dies in there. That's not possible. I was a caretaker who was interred. In interred. Who interred the recordings? You interred them. Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. Find a new job then! Jesus! This guy has a flair for dramatic, and it isn't go go going to do him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. Okay, it was Orchard, just making sure. My brain did shut off for a minute there, uh, last time. Uh, yeah, we didn't press him on this one, right? But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I say, partner? I told you that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. I don't understand how every goddamn witness in this game is an absolute lunatic. No Desperado I know lets rules get in his way. No Desperado I know lets rules get in his way. Okay. You ain't no Desperado, though. No Desperados I know join the police force. That too. So, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime, just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? Good question. 
you used to be a detective, so you used used evidence from in the past, correct? Correct. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Marketed them. Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how to how bike what how a bike works. How d how are you on the police force? That's quite uh incredible. How? So I take you don't have a patrol car. Are you a horse cop? That would make sense. Well, no, actually, you're an ev evidence room guard. But still! The sensors on the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. At any rate, it, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? If I remember correctly, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. So this is a, a lie, because I have his fingerprints. But we're going to press them all on everything anyways. What were you doing in a place like that? Drinking? Probably drinking. I was eating spaghetti. Question. What bar serves spaghetti? I've been to bars that serve wings, nachos, burgers, pizza even. Not bowls or plates of spaghetti. Or really any pasta. It's finger food, usually. There's one that had a nice steak once, but that was about it. Actually, it was like steak bits. It wasn't even like a full steak. Oh, well, whatever. Not even Angel's Steaks lunches can beat the Paz Von... Bongol? Bongol? Bongol Sepia Pasta? Okay, one, that's impossible. And two, what? Do you mean to tell us? You abandon your police duties to eat some noodles. Not all, all, Desper uh, not all Desperados eat tacos, partner. Man, you have actually caught up the Meekins and people that Kronos wants to, like, punch. Wow. I didn't even want to punch Meekins. He's extremely annoying, but good lord. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to... Did you, did you not want to raise this year? I'm just an innocent traveling man. So if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trails. The trails in the sky. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner. Or, as you'd call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me, pin me to this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. You're the one wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry back west into the sunset. Oh, okay. I don't know what a bike is, but I have a steel horse. That's a car or a motorcycle, right? A steel bike is a steel horse is a motorcycle, yeah? One second. We're, gonna, we're doing live Google. Steel horse. Steel horse I ride. Is that a CSI? The motorcycle, yeah. What? Children's Boutique? What? The Steel Horse is the best... The Steel Horse is the best children's boutique in the Tulsa and... Owasau air? I don't know what the hell that is. Is that in America? It is in America. Huh. But yeah, the Steel Horse Arrive, that's a song. I know that one. It's like NCIS or something like that, yeah? Anyways, this has been your Googling with Kronos. Uh, but yeah, you're an idiot. Hmm, one thing seems clear, despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room, the witness doesn't appear to have seen anything. Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Well, no, they take orders from, like, their bosses, people that pay them, uh, loved ones, if they're, like, helping them out somewhere. 
Apparently your superiors don't. Yeah, okay. Okay, I have a trump card on my sleeve, so I best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I better up my the ante. What? Up the ante? What are we gonna do? Uh, present? Uh, Marshall's fingerprints. OBJECTION! Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this. After all, you, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind the at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Huh. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. Obje objection? I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood! Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the crime scene. The blood was wiped away. However, the luminol test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall, it seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I mean, you're not wrong if you're counting yourself in that. I take it you have an explanation then, Ms. Officer Marshall. About the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints found at the scene of the crime. Uh, blood-stained fingerprints. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the blood-stained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprints was by chance. The blood stain and the fingerprints were completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? Z, I had nothing to do with it. Wait, what? Question, I... Okay, one fingerprint had gloves on it, yes. This is true, I guess. Hmm, the witness explanation appears valid. Nothing he says appears valid. Although there's room for doubt, yes. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. That's just not true. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. <laughs> uh, he has, uh... <laughs> you guys ever see Ace Ventura when nature calls? This is when he says, I can feel it. I just get that scene when Jim Carrey's like, I can feel it like it's in the back of my neck! And then the, sh the, the darts. Oh, God. Good stuff. Now's my chance to prove it. Like I said. Yeah, no press. That's because you... How did you put it? Pay your respects once a month. Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I say. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never removed from the locker's programming. Uh, they're very lax at the police station, apparently. He must have been using the fingerprint locker all this time without ever knowing it. One of them, yeah, press? So then, what about the bloody handprint? Wasn't mine. It's no, it's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. I'm what you call touchy-feely, and I really like lockers. It just so happens. The chances of that happening are a million to one. I don't know if that's accurate, but here we go! On the contrary, one could argue that just the opposite. 
The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Are we in elementary school? Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? Unrelated. They're as different as night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. One's gotta do with breakfast, while the other's a type of murder. Well, in like a line of books, I think. And like a serial number. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see how homonyms have to do with this. I don't know what, what homonyms have to do with this. Uh, there. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. Debatable. I keep up on reports. Probably hugely debatable. There was a blood stain at the scene, though thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detec detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm, so that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprints. That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? This seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. Security tape. So long as my trail isn't there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider your carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Uh, sure? What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, that video was the only direct evidence you have. But that video is next to useless! It's full of blind spots! Blind spots? Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. Objection! We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Yes, you do! Do your job! Well, well, actually, it's not your job, as it were. Well, I mean... It's kind of like the detective's jobs, and the forensics people to do their jobs. I mean, to be fair, I guess Lana did confess to the murder. But still... Probably shouldn't be rushing these trials. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in that video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so. I mean, yeah, I got nothing else to lose. Show evidence. Uh, yeah, very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. Yes, I know. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Show us- I'm- You're seeing this video again? Show us the incriminating evidence. Alright! I don't know, I'm looking- Well, I guess I'm looking for the evidence that it was Marshall. So... I don't know, we see a guy... I'm assuming it's this guy here. He's like gonna pop back in the frame with like a cowboy hat on. It's the white glove. I mean, everyone has the same hairstyle in this video, apparently. Good job hiding his long hair, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, no! Rewind! Rewind! God damn it! Fast forward! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I saw it! I saw it, baby! 
Meekins, you you messed that man up. Hit him with the billy club. You dropped it. The nightstick, billy club. I don't know what they're called. A collapsible club, Reno's weapon, whatever you want to say. Pause. Uh, take that! Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshalls. Or Marshalls. They closed Marshalls down, I think. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? No. Very well. Okay, yeah, I can. You clearly can be seen in this video! Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. That, uh, the locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. Maybe a bit faster. No? All right. We can take our time. Hello, Blue Badger. Your nightmare fuel, really. Oh, the white cloth. It's gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then, it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker with the camera while, when the camera was turned away. So what, did you have your hair in a bun? Order, order. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. Dots? So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. Objection? Edgeworth, can you object to me? The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. <laughs> everyone's like, holy shit! This guy's an idiot! Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? This guy isn't just playing dumb. He is dumb! He really doesn't know! Uh, I hate the rain on your parade. But you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. You say I open that locker, now prove it. I mean... Where's the locker? Here, evidence locker. Uh, yes. A, a fingerprint sensor. We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by a detective that they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. But in any case, locks aren't that obvious. I don't know, I don't know, apparently my throat's giving out today. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks! So, Sheriff, if that is your real job, what do you have to say in eight words or less? Is that beef jerky? Can I have some? I got only one word for you, partner. No! Order, order. Witness, explain why you just did your best Darth Vader impression. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. I'm assuming that's jerky. It, it looks very... rubbery, actually. Oi? Olay? Please, what? Please answer the qu question? What is he now, a bullfighter? Yeah, Olay! That's right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure out the rest from here. We can. Have a look at these plans. There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right! The only one, only possible conclusion. 
Well then, let's hear it. Really? Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the crime? La -da 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 -da. Officer Marshall was standing right here! There, but that's... That's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall. It was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at this crime scene. Offer me, offer the Meekins. D listen to what you just said, Edgeworth. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. Meekins wouldn't know shit for sure. Have you heard him? May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his ID card, sir! Yeah, and how did Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly- God, I hate that noise! He suddenly pulled a knife on me! Which is actually a common occurrence, because everyone really doesn't like me! I didn't see what Phoenix said. If the man had had, had, had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, he would have needed it to enter the evidence room, so he must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you see, Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he had shown that, his face would have been his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? This is good jerky. You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. How about a patrolman, though? Unless you have half evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Can we just go open your locker? Can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative dis disposition. I can't say I care for your bed, but you don't see me complaining. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence? And also, if you're gonna have a comeback, don't use the same one twice. Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. <laughs> I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Back. this can't be happening. So obvious he's the one, what can I do? Hmm. <laughs> It looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. This is like what? My fifth case? I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you've run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? You mean like smashing my head into the wall? For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Stop looking at me like that, Phoenix. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was opened in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later, in, later as it had been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed, as, dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some reason, unknown reason. The fact that the white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So just what exactly is that piece of cloth? Perhaps it's the coat! Perhaps the video is the key to all of our unanswered questions. Are we going to watch the video again? Okay, well, that's going to be next time then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. Why do you have my videos? I can check out some of the content, see what you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.